quite the scenery, isn't it? To address several parts of the world during world updates takes time. VFR flying has been a good reason to discover various interesting places at the sim. Arguably the most famous of the Greek islands, Santorini. Known for its cube-shaped, whitewashed buildings, adorned by blue accents and sunsets that can light up the skies and the sea. Ladies and gentlemen, another episode of the Hangar Talk series, a 5-minute video showcasing on what's best in the world of freeware for the most part. So please, hit that subscribe button as it can greatly help us. Bing Maps have proved to produce scenic results with its default maps, a bit more colorful perhaps. Google on the other hand gives more of a realistic viewpoint with a tad less saturation, convincing on how really a scenery could look. A topic of debate over the past few months, now we aren't discussing about that today, rather the type of scenery one can visit at the sim. The island of Santorini has been relied completely on Google photogrammetry. Not 100% coverage on the island as some portions did have inaccurate detailing, but for the most part this appears to be immaculately done. The team of Ezro came up with this combined effort with the help of Jonah Hex on decoding Googler data and Thalixite for optimizing imagery. A great deal to consider in the line of freeware and a recent release. One of the prime partners of the sim comes Obex. And yes, this is a freeware from the studios. Covering the entire region of Iceland, this can be a good start to introduce how really mesh terrains can prove worthy of owning them and experiencing. The last place to be settled by humans, now Iceland is famous for a lot of natural wonders. Very often mesh terrains can deem stressful to your GPUs, reducing the frames per second at times, leading to a stuttering experience. But in the case of Orbix, certainly not. Plenty of places to discover from glaciers, volcanoes, geysers, with no noticeable impact on performance, where there's a fine balance between performance and quality. Now this region can be a lot of fun being the world's 18th largest island and Europe's second largest island and with a dramatic landscape makes it an even more reason to pay a visit to this beautiful part of the world. You can either download this at the Orbix portal which has been placed right below in the description. With Greece and Iceland covered, let's move to another region of the world and this time North America, the western part. The city of Honolulu, Hawaii. The capital city of Hawaii located amongst the famous six main islands. Now both the city of Honolulu and Pearl Harbor have generous detailing with the help of Google photogrammetries including the airport. The team of Civili have done a clever job of handling performance that goes above par with an equal measure of quality. Quite frankly for the most part this was a great scenery, however at a few instances there were some glitches to be observed plus water masking areas as well but overall this appears to be a fantastic effort by the team and they've certainly done their best to have almost 8000 downloads so far. Should tell us something about this. A rather large set of files to apply comes in 6 different files which are to be extracted from the zip files and finally dropped into your community folder. The links associated to the add-ons that include the Santorini Island of Greece, Iceland Mesh from Orbex and the city of Honolulu, Hawaii can be found right here in the description below. If you don't have a login for FlightSim.2, get one today and it won't cost you anything. Make sure to use a freeware from Orbex as well, a useful mesh to really experience what a mesh can deliver. Hopefully it's time to pay a visit to Iceland, Honolulu or Greece three beautiful locations at different parts of the world. If you found this video useful, hit a like button and consider subscribing. We'll have to bring more useful add-ons that can up your game on flight simming. Until next time, do take care and happy flying folks.